Alright, so the theme of this video is going to be metalworking or metal fabrication. I myself am not a metal fabricator, but I do the best I can, and I've learned a lot from watching some YouTube videos and just kind of doing what seems like it would work. So the first thing here uh, is a piece of the floorboard that as you can see was pretty rotted out. So I figured it'd be better just to make a whole new piece rather than try and patch it up. So I'm uh, tracing out a template onto a cereal box. And I'll cut that out and trace it onto a new piece of diamond plate. Next here I'm cutting out the piece that I uh, traced from the pattern and uh, as with anything, if anybody watching this has any tips or ways I can do things better, that's always appreciated. I'm always trying to learn new skills and new things. Uh, so basically what I ended up doing, uh, cut this out with the angle grinder, was just kind of scored over the lines and then came back over on the uh, finished cutting it out. Now the way I cut the rounded part out, uh, I squared it off from the two parts that come in and then I ended up making uh, basically pie cuts into the rounded part and then as you'll see uh, I hammered them out and then just cleaned them up with a grinding wheel on the grinder. Now with all the cutting done, I'm just marking the spots to drill the holes. Uh, and I'm only going to drill, in this video at least, just the pilot holes just to get them, just to get the places marked uh, until I can go and buy some uh, countersink bits because uh, all the floorboards were countersunk so the bolt heads were flush. So here I'm just removing the brake pedal off of the larger piece of floorboard because as you can see right below it there's a spot that's rotted out. So I'm just going to cut that small part out and put in some new 
diamond plate there. I'm also just going to take the pedal apart so that I can uh, clean it up, strip the paint off of it, and uh, put some fresh paint on it. So of course here, cutting out the rotted part, and I'll end up uh, just tracing that onto a new piece of diamond plate, cut that out, and I'll end up uh, welding it in there. A little disclaimer, I do not profess myself to be a welder by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, I do have a MIG welder and I've played around with it a little bit, and uh, again, just watch some YouTube videos uh, just to try and get an idea of the basics. Uh, so, not the world's greatest welder, but I can do enough to get by. I hope you enjoy this quick progress update and stay tuned. I'm hoping to have some more updates in the next week or two, hopefully.